Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how you can use social media to find new leads for your business? Do you want to know how you can leverage the 2.8 billion people who are using social media worldwide? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find new people and generate high quality leads using social media. Now I'm sure that some of you watching may be a little bit intimidated by social media or feel that maybe it's not right for your business. Let me assure you that while it may seem difficult to learn or a bit overwhelming, it's worth the effort. The beautiful thing about social media is that it increases your reach exponentially. In any given day, you're limited in your business building to the people that you can talk to personally on the phone or face to face. On social media, if you post high quality, valuable content, you can reach not only your friends, but your friends' friends. And as people like and share your content, your influence can reach even further. Your potential for reaching new audiences is completely unlimited. That is why you cannot afford to ignore social media, even if it's intimidating. It's a valuable tool that can lead to huge growth for your business. So if you have any misgivings about social media, please keep an open mind throughout this training. And by the end, you will see that it's something you cannot afford to miss out on. To successfully find new people and to get new leads on social media, you need to follow three key strategies. One, create valuable content. Two, encourage engagement. And three, capture the lead. Creating valuable content is the key to being successful on social media. It's the difference between providing something that people want to see and just sending out spam. Look at the difference between these two posts. The first one says, try Tahitian Noni essential oils today and provides a link to purchase. The second one says, learn how to make a bath bomb using Tahitian Noni essential oils and talks about the benefits of using essential oils in the bath and then provides the necessary ingredients and instructions. So there's a ton of value there. One of these clearly provides more value than the other and is going to get much more interest from your friends on social media. The more valuable your content is, the more people will like it, share it, and engage with your posts. So be sure that your posts provide something of value. Teach them something. Show them something interesting or answer a question they might have. There are several types of posts that you can use to provide value to your social media followers. You can use text, images, video, or even live video. Text can be effective, but it generally drives the least engagement. It's very easy to scroll right past if there's nothing there to catch the eye. Images are better because they catch the eye and allow you to keep their interest a bit longer. Video, especially live video, is the king of social media, especially on Facebook. Facebook gives priority to live video. So if you go live, you're gonna show up on the top of everyone's newsfeed. That is great for increasing your reach and exposure. The problem is that most people understandably have a hard time doing live video. They get nervous, they don't have a plan, and the video doesn't come out very well. If you want to learn how to master live video, please watch the training video that will give you an outline to ensure your success when you go live. Now I know that it might seem like a lot of work to make all of these posts, find images, and do videos, but the nice thing is that Marinda has you covered. The media library in your back office gives Marinda Pro IPCs access to professionally designed social media images and content that you can use to promote your business. Additionally, you don't have to create all the content yourself. If you find something online that you think is valuable to your audience, share it with them. Just make sure you give credit to the person who made it and add your own thoughts about it. Tell them why you like it, why you're sharing it, and why you think they will like it. Now that you know how to create valuable content, your next goal is to increase the engagement on your posts. In other words, to get more people to comment, like, and share. Some of this will come naturally as you post good content, but there are a few things that you can do that will help increase engagements. First, just ask them to engage with you. You could say, please like and share, or leave a comment with your favorite healthy recipe. Second, give a clear call to action on each of your posts. What do you want your audience to do with the information you just gave them? You could ask them to click on a link to learn more or to share with someone they think could benefit from the information. Finally, make sure that you respond to any comments that you receive. This will help create a sense of community and will increase future engagement as people see that you actually care about what they have to say. Once you have valuable content and are getting people engaged, it's time to turn those people into leads. 
Marinda has made this so easy with landing pages for Tahitianoni essential oils that allow them to request free samples, with more product landing pages coming soon. These landing pages require that the lead give you their information before they get the sample. That information is automatically added to the lead manager tool in the back office. So all you have to do is drive traffic to those pages using a sequence of valuable posts followed by an offer. Let me give you an example. You could post about how to make an essential oil bath bomb, followed by a live video where you talk about three ways to clean your house using essential oils. That's the value. Then comes the offer. Post again talking about your favorite essential oil and why you love it. Then say, I want all of you to be able to try these oils too. Click on this link to request a free sample. It's that easy. Then, just repeat the process. Keep in mind that valuable content is still key. Offers should only come after they have received some value. In most cases, you should not have an offer in every single post. That can come across as spamming and will drive some of your audience away. Just remember, value, value, offer. Once you start to see leads coming into your back office, you can then use those tools provided there to continue marketing to them by segmenting and farming those leads. For more information about this topic, please visit Marinda University. Finding new leads on social media is a simple process, but it takes time and effort. Your first few posts will probably only be seen and liked by your mom, and that's okay. Everybody starts there. So don't get discouraged if things don't take off right away. It's a process, and it's the people who keep at it over time who see the amazing results in the end. The benefits and opportunities provided by social media are too great to lose because you get discouraged. So keep at it and you will see the results. Thank you so much for participating in this training. If you have any questions about finding leads using social media, please don't hesitate to contact us at University at marinda.com. We're here to help you be successful.